Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and I would like to welcome you back to my channel if you're already subscribed and you've been watching my videos um, and if you're a new um, a new viewer, I hope you will enjoy this video. Um, what I'm going to do today is we're going to alter uh, these big huge clothespins. My friend um, uh, Josefina sent these to me and I just thought they were super cool because they're really huge. I have some of my other clothespins as well that are this size and these are actually quite large as well. I thought these were big but these are super huge and I thought today I'm going to do a video on these and show you how you can make these into really cool. You can a lot of what a lot of people do with these is they'll they'll make them so that they sit up on a desk like this and then you can uh, put pictures or things um, in the top and you just clip it in and there you you can change it out whenever you want. So that's kind of what the the uh, premise is going to be for this video. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could turn these into magnets as well um, and put them on the refrigerator because if you get the really strong magnets they're going to hold it to that refrigerator and then you could clip notes and pictures from the whatever end actually you could tip it either way and use it on the refrigerator. So these were actually a dark blue color. They were both different. One had a, a design on it, the other one was plain. And I decided to go ahead and paint them white and then all I did was I just sand, sanded them to make them look um, more shabby. So that's all I've done so far. This one I have stuck this piece down. I've got the other piece here for this one and I'll show you that as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into this. Um, so first, what we're going to do, also I have some images here that we're going to play around with a little bit. So um, this trim here, this is the first thing I'm going to put down, and this comes from some trims that I buy from a little local shop near me. Um, they didn't have them for a long time, and I know I recently picked a bunch up, uh, well, not real recently, but just a short time ago, and I have put them aside to put them in my shop, but until I come up with those, um, be on the lookout if you're looking for these, because I know there were a lot of people that wanted to get them, and I had only gotten so many packages, and then I couldn't get them for a while. Um, so I will probably be adding some of these to my shop as well. I just have to find them and, and put them in my shop uh, my shop box. <laughs> so until I find them, I won't put them in my store because I don't want to uh, end up not finding them and then having somebody buy them and I wouldn't have them to, to send. So um, this one, it looks like I got a little piece that folded back on the top. Hold on. And I'm hoping it's not going to stick down so badly that I can't get it off without tearing it. I don't think it will. It's just stuck to itself here. I pulled it. I actually had it on there, and I did. I pulled it off. So we're just going to cut a brand new piece of this off. So, and I will save this other one for another project. I'll just cut it shorter. So this is, this is what we have, and so I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want this to end up here. And I think I'm going to cut it off. I'm actually going to let it come down below the, the line. I'm going to cut it right here with my little detail scissors. And then we'll go ahead and stick this down first. And I'm not going to use any glue or anything on this because I'm going to have things sitting on top of it that are going to make sure that this isn't going to come up. And these, these little things stick down really, really well. So I am not worried about them coming off at all. Um, they have pretty good sticky on them. 
Just got to be careful when you pull them off the package though because they kind of tend to want to go in their own direction. And I'm going to start up at the top end here so that I don't have them hanging over because I don't want them hanging over due to the, the sticky that's on them. I don't like to have that sticky hanging over and then it sticks to things uh, that you don't want it to stick to. So, And this one I can just kind of pull over a little bit and get it in the right spot. I let it go over too far there. So, get that one down. And there we go. And this, this detail is so pretty. I don't know if I need this light or not. But you can see how pretty that looks on these um, clothes pins and these are just the nicest little embellishments to put on so many things they work great for if you're making cards or um, tags or journals or things like that these are amazing little embellishments so um, this one I made a little bit longer I'm wondering if I you know what I don't see where I put the other one that I took off what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. I might take a little piece off of this one and add it just so that it's... It's going to be covered up down here anyway. But to make them right and make them somewhat even, I want to go ahead and add that extra piece on there. And it's just a little spot that I need to cover. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to have this go that direction. There. Okay, so we've got those both on there, and they're stuck down really, really well. And now I'm just going to take and start embellishing this with some of my little goodies over here. We're not going to put a ton on them. I have some of this little trim that my friend Gail had sent me um, that I'm just, I cut off teeny little pieces of this to use. Um, and I'm going to set these up so that they are going, this will be the top and this will be the bottom because I'm really setting them up for a picture frame, um, or a picture holder. So that's kind of my intent with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start, uh, gluing some things on here. And the first thing that I think I'm going to glue on is the main the main rose that I want to put in here. I'm going to get that in its position right there. And then I'm going to put this little rose up above it. I was actually thinking about possibly changing it and putting putting this little one in there, but I think for this one I really think this rose is nice um, to go with this other little pink rose. And I'm putting it off to the side here because what I want to do is I want to take this little piece of bling and this is just a little button um, embellishment, flat back, and I'm going to put that up at the top sort of under the roses like that. So, and I stuck it in my glue there. That's okay because it's going to be under those flowers there. So we're going to put that right there. And then I'm going to have this little gold piece of uh, trim that I'm going to just kind of tuck up, up under there that I want it to kind of hang out a little bit. So we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on there and just pop it right in there. Okay, and I just think that gold looks really pretty. We've, so we've got kind of the silver and the gold kind of mixed in there. I like that look. I had also considered using this flower, but I just don't think it goes. That's more for a tropical kind of a look, and that's not what I'm going for today. 
Don't know if I'm going to use this butterfly or not, but I took it out just in case. But what I do want to do is I want to put this little bow right here. So we're going to go ahead and glue this bow on underneath this rose and I want to tuck it up under there because I do want this bit to hang out. I want to see that. But you can see how I've pretty much covered that up from, you know, from here up. So that's okay. And then what I'm thinking with the butterfly is maybe it might be pretty just kind of tucked up between these two flowers here. Just to add one little more bit of, of interest to it. And it doesn't take away from anything. Um, I say that and then I look at it and I go, hmm. We're not going to use that flower either because I think it would be too much. Maybe what I'll do, let me see what this looks like kind of coming off to the side. Yeah, I kind of like it just coming off to the side like that. That's where we're going to put it. And I'm almost out of glue in my glue gun here, so we're going to have to replenish that. And I'm just going to hold that down for just a minute so that it stays in place. There. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do to this to make it just really, really pretty, really shabby chic. And um, it's going to be a, a gorgeous little holder for what I'm going to do with it. So let's go ahead and let's take this one and we're going to go ahead and embellish it with the flowers and things. And I, I was thinking on this one because these are going to be they'll go in my Etsy shop but these are going to be separate items in my store so I didn't want to make them exactly the same so I'm trying to go a little bit different with the flowers on this one and I was kind of thinking maybe I might have that sort of coming up from the top but let's just kind of look here and see how we think that's gonna turn out in the end. I have this pretty little shiny flower that I got from my friend Gail. It's a paper flower, but it has a uh, pearl, uh, like a pearly paint on it. And I really, really like it. And I thought it might look pretty with this if I do it right. Now initially I had it set up so that the rose was going to be on there with this. And I may go back to that if I feel like this flower is too big. and I, the, I'm looking at this and I'm starting to think maybe what I could do is take this and cut it down a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. I hate to cut it because it is so pretty, but I'll use that other piece for something else. Nothing goes to waste in my craft room, let me tell you guys. That's why I get so excited when I get, you know, happy mail bits and things. Um, that I can uh, spread around. <laughs> so actually this rose looks really nice with that. I may end up not using this piece unless I kind of tuck it in behind and then we've got the three. That actually looks very pretty. I think that may be what I'm going to do. So let's try and remember how we have that. I'm going to put this down first. Let me get my glue. let's glue this piece down right at the top and off the edge a bit and then we're going to glue this one down wait till you guys see what I'm going to do with the little pictures that I'm going to um, sell with these I mean and anybody can take those pictures off that I, that I uh, sell them with and put their own pictures. You know, you can put your family pictures in there, whatever you want to do. Um, and this gives you kind of an idea of how you can even uh, pretty up your own pictures and, um, you know, just kind of put them in there. I'm definitely going to use the gold piece too. I do like that in there. So I'm going to have just a little bit of that hanging out. 
going to cut off this little edge here because it's a little bit frayed. Not afraid, just frayed. <laughs> and I'm going to put this flower down right up there. Right there. And we can still see that pretty um, pearl button. And we're going to put the rose down here. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue down. I want to cut this other piece of this off just because it, the gold seems to have kind of come off of that one. And uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll leave the bow on there too. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bow down first, right there, and we still have a little bit of our little sticky um, embellishment coming off here. And we're gonna put this rose right there. And let's see, do we want a butterfly in this one or don't we? We do because it looks really, really pretty right there. And this butterfly has a little bit of blue in it, so it really complements the flowers. Just like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, there's that one, and there's that one. And now we're going to work, oh, we're going to put those aside for just a minute here while we work a little bit over here. And so these are the two images that I have that I'm going to use. And I'm this sweet little girl, in, and that's like a sepia background. So I just thought that was really pretty and vintage looking. I'm going to put her behind this little, this is like the little cardboard filigree pieces and it's a little wreath design. I'm going to put her behind that but I do need to cut her down a little bit and cut these corners off and make sure she fits right and then I'll glue it on and the background of the picture doesn't stick out on the whole thing and that's okay it doesn't, it's not like behind the flowers on the whole thing, but that's all right. It still looks very pretty. And I just thought it was very sweet. So we're going to lay it kind of like that, and then I'll just kind of put some glue around on the edges of this. I've got to be really careful on the side pieces, though, because they're very small. So I want to make sure that I get them stuck, but not, there might be a couple of spots that I got to leave the glue off. Go just like that. And cut this other little bit off at the top here. Because it's sticking off just a tad. Okay, and that looks really, really pretty. She looks really sweet. And then I want to take, maybe what I'll do is take, where did I put that? Maybe take one of these little flowers and put it on there. I think that just really makes it look very sweet. Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do with this one. Okay, so that one is pretty much done. Oh, you know what? I do want to put, I think I do want to put one more. That's too pink. Maybe I have a little blue flower in here somewhere. I'm sure I do. Um, that I can put, oh, I just saw one and I pushed it right down in there. Okay, there it is. This little teeny blue flower, and I'm going to put that just kind of right above that flower there. 
And I'm wondering, I have, I think I have another of those in here somewhere that maybe I can pull and put towards the bottom. I have a little green one here. And the green actually looks pretty with her little picture. So maybe we'll do green and blue. I don't know. Let me see if I can find another blue one here. There we go. I did. I think we'll just go with the two blue ones just to kind of enhance all the blue in the rest of this little blue uh, clothespin that we've got here. There. Okay, so we've got that all done. Look at how adorable that looks. She's just precious. And then what you can do, I'm going to keep that little green flower because I may use that, is just open up your clothespin let me, let me see this so that I can see what I'm doing here. And put the little bottom piece in there. And there you go. You have a little picture holder. Is that not precious? I just love these. And I just thought they would be, be cute with a little vintage picture behind them. I think that would be adorable sitting on someone's desk just holding that precious little picture. And I know it's kind of hard to see it that way where you guys are where you guys are at, but sitting on someone's desk with that precious picture in there or a picture of your grandchildren or something like that would be really, really sweet. And we all have craft tables that we like to decorate too. Um, so I think that is just really sweet. And then I will take pictures at the end um, of them standing up. I'll put them on my countertop so that you can see really what they look like, you know, standing up. Um, with a, a nice background and such. So then I've got this pretty um, postcard that I got from my friend Kim and this image and we're going to use her on here um, and we're going to try and do something really nice with this. I'm going to have to cut this down obviously and I kind of want some of the roses in the background of this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down and I think I'm going to cut it to about right there. And you guys will see what I'm going to do with this in just a minute. I got to straighten this out. I need to I should have used these scissors because they are longer and I always get a straighter cut if I use these scissors. These are my scissors that Kim gave me too. And I love them <laughs> because they always cut a straight line for me. It's, I guess, the longer edge is helpful with getting a nice straight line. So what I'm going to do with this, I found my other punch. And this is just a little, um, kind of a little floral design here. We're going to take um, this piece and I'm going to go around the edges with this punch to just give it a little more life and make it look more like a frame and so I just have to go around all of the edges and punch this out and sometimes you get a weird bit in the corners I always fix those up or detail them um, after I get through punching all the way around and I'll show you what I mean. See, we've got that little piece there. That's okay. We can cut that down and make it blend in really nicely. But I just love the way these punches um, add extra detail, especially when you're making tags and things like that. Um, it just adds that extra pizzazz or, or sort of, in this case, a, a little bit of a vintage look. I had to look at that to see where the other hole was. I need to go right there, I think. Um, and I just enjoy that. I, I love having that extra bit of laciness in my paper pieces, especially when I make my tags. I love, love, love making tags. But you know, the funny thing is, I make them... The tags don't seem to sell as quickly in my shop, so I don't make a lot of them. Um, but everyone, when they get them, they're like, oh my gosh, it's even prettier than I thought it was. So it's one of those things, I don't know if maybe 
I don't get the best pictures or what have you, but man, I love the way they turn out and I'm always really surprised when they don't sell real quickly because I just think they're so pretty. Okay, we got that bit. I'm gonna cut this little tip off. That one. And we've got one here. And I know there are little punches that you can buy that that are uh, like little corner punches. Um, I don't have any of those. Um, but they have some really nice ones. And so now I'm looking at that, I'm thinking these big edges probably need to get sort of cut down so that the corners are more kind of rounded and equal. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get it looking the best I can. On one of these edges, though, I am going to be putting some lace um, across it. So. That's what we've got, and we've kind of got more flowers up in this corner, and that's going to look really pretty with her. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to place her, and then I'm going to use some of this pretty lace that Gail sent me, and I'm going to put this sort of on the edge here to dress it up a little bit more. I love my lace, you guys. I love my lace. So, first things first, let's go ahead and decide where we want her to go. I think I'm going to put her right about there. She's not in the center, you guys, and I'm doing that purposely, just so you know. And in fact, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead. I'm using hot glue. I know that's probably not the best idea, but as long as I get this down quickly, I can press it and I can get any uh, lumps out of it right away because this um, Gorilla Hot Glue tends to have a little bit longer working time than some of the other ones that you can buy. And so I'm able to, to work a little bit more with my pieces um, in order to get them to be flatter and so forth. So usually, usually. I will say sometimes I don't quite get it right and it, it I mess it up. So I'm, I'm going to have to cut this little piece off of here. I cut this a little too long. That's okay. Let's just go ahead. We're going to one by one glue these pieces down. And I've still got that lacy bit coming off the edge there because I absolutely want that there. And I'm gonna do this one a little high as well. I'm off to the edge, so we're gonna cut this right here. And put a little strip of glue. And we're gonna go just like that. Now, I don't know if I really want to go around all edges with this. I don't. I'm, that's all I'm going to do with the lace because here's why. I do love the laciness of this and I do want that to show as well. And I've got some other things that I can use. I could take a piece of this and look at how beautiful that looks. I think that's what I'm going to do and that way it kind of goes with the clothespin. It ties everything together. And that's something I do like to do is to make sure that I try and tie things together so that they look... I mean sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like it to be everything to be way different like golds and silvers and things like that. It just makes my heart sing sometimes to just be different. Um, so let me see here. I just want to see where I want this to land. And I think what I'll do is I'll just lay this down up here. And I'm just going to let it go right, right over the top of that lace. But I am going to take and put a little dot of glue right here just so that stays. 
And then maybe another little piece of this going across the top. So I think I'm going to cut that a little bit shorter. I'm going to cut it right across that rose there because that way I get the rose going across the lace a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start it kind of from the edge here, right there, and just let it land where it lands over here on the lace. And that looks really, really pretty. I love it. And then I'm also going to take and find a couple of little flowers here that I can put on the edge. And I probably want to go with maybe a little pink one. Oh, I know my, my good ones are probably way down here at the bottom on this. I want one of those. And maybe a little white flower. I don't want to put too many colors in there. See, I've muddied it up by putting that green one in there, but the pink and the green actually look really nice together. So, but I do need something else because this one's just a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, so I want to make sure that I put, and this is, this little pink rose is just a little bit bigger than this one. I just have to decide how I want these to look here. Do I want them to just come kind of up like that? Or do we want to use one of the bigger ones and then add these? and add that there. No, I don't think I want the bigger pink rose. So we're just gonna go like I started it and we're gonna just start putting these down here. And we've got our smaller rows. And we have our little green rose that I got. And all of these roses come from Kiki's sale. All of them that are in these today. And she looks really, really pretty. And so what we're going to do is plug her in here. right there and there you have it you guys look at how gorgeous that looks I just love these I love working with clothespins and it's amazing what you can do just using your imagination to come up with something really unique and interesting and what amazing gifts would these be for um, for your friends your co-workers oh my gosh they would just love these um, so I just thought this would be a fun project and when I saw those clothespins I couldn't wait to play around with them and do something fun. Um, I'm going to be working on another video. Uh, I got some watch bits from my friend Sherry and look at this you guys. <gasps> I've been prepping them, I've been cutting out images, I've been putting little bits and pieces in here. Look at all those watch faces that I have that I get to make um, purse charms with or ornaments or whatever I decide to do with them. But look, I've got, I've got a couple, I, I'm going to do a couple of Mickey Mouse ones. Yay! I was so excited when, when I saw that there were two red ones in there and a couple of white ones. And I thought, well, with those red ones, I had made a, I had turned an old Mickey Mouse watch of mine into a charm for my daughter. I wanted to hand it down to her. I had had that Mickey Mouse watch since I was about 11. My brother and sister-in-law had given it to me as a gift when I was a kid. And I kept it all those years. 
and I did not, I didn't put a new image in it. I left the old Mickey Mouse image that was already in the watch and I just turned it into a purse charm for my daughter. And I was really super proud of that piece. It's the probably the favorite thing I've ever done because I was able to hand it down to my daughter and I felt like that was kind of, that was my little heirloom piece that I wanted to give her. Um, and so I hope she loves and appreciates it as much as I love it and loved making it for her because it really, it was a big deal for me. Um, probably not as big a deal for her, but it was for me. And someday it's going to be a big deal for her too. I know that. Um, because she is sentimental and I know that she cares about things like that. So, um, so if it's not real important to her now, hopefully it will be in the years to come. So anyway, um, so I've got these watches, but look at this. I also got some more stuff from my friend Gail, um, in Happy Mail and in there was some dangly bits and I got these dangly pearls that are on chain. These are going to be making some dangles. I got this chain that has some pretty bits on it. Now this one I'll have to take apart and do some other stuff with it. I got this pretty, um, this pretty piece here that I thought would be really nice hanging from a, a watch. And then this one, I actually think I got this one from Debbie over at Kiki's. I think it was the bottom half of an earring or something. I can't remember. I might be wrong about that. But I thought that would be a nice dangle to put on one of them. But look at this, you guys. I am thrilled to death about this one. And I can't wait to, to put it on one of my watch charms or a domino charm. I don't know. I have to decide. But look at that. It is just gorgeous. I love the bits and pieces and the cameo and the heart and the key and all those pretty bits and pieces that are on this. I am so excited to use this one. And then I got this which has some of the brown dangle brown stones on it. And these are acrylic but super pretty. And then I have a couple of pieces, bits and pieces that I've had around here for a little while. I've got this that I got a long time ago and I still haven't used it and I need to. It's a butterfly and look at how gorgeous that is. It would be amazing hanging from one of these. And then I actually found a couple of cameos that I thought might actually be pretty inside uh, one of these watch charms. So I may be using those as well. Um, and then look at these beads. I have to show you guys these beads. Oh, I can't forget this one. Debbie over at Kiki's sent me this. Can you believe that, you guys? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to put her on one of these watch uh, pieces. I cannot wait. I love, love, love that. And I'm saving it for just the perfect item and if I find that one of the watch charms are not the perfect item then I won't use it. But look at these gorgeous beads that Gail sent me. I am in love with these beads Gail. Oh my gosh look at them. And they've just got all of this detail. Aren't they gorgeous? So I thought I might make some dangles with these um, to put in a couple of those watch charms. I just thought those would be really, really pretty. Hopefully that's in focus now. I know it got out of focus for a second. Um, and then I also have this one here that's really pretty. So I have lots of things that I can put into these watches and I'm super excited to do them. I am gonna show you guys if I can find it. Oh, I think I put it away. Darn. Well, I'll put it in my next video. I have something else that I wanted to show you guys, um, but I'm not sure where I put it, so I'm going to have to find it to show you. Um, anyways, 
So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, pretty soon, maybe I'll do another video on these clothespins because I do have some cool stuff. Just as a preview, I thought using a couple of these would be really cute on these clothespins. And these are some that I got from the Dollar Tree, some stickers. So I'm thinking I want to use a couple of those on those dark brown um, clothespins. So we'll see what happens. Um, I have to play around with them and see what I can do. But um, for those of you who are not currently subscribed, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and stick around to watch some more videos or binge on my old videos. Um, I've got a lot of new videos out that I've put out recently. And um, stay tuned for some really great stuff that I've got coming up. I've got some really great ideas for things that... Um, maybe I haven't done before and so I'm looking forward to getting started putting those projects together um, but it, again if you're not subscribed I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I do future videos and to everybody who's been subscribed thank you from the bottom of my heart I appreciate each and every one of you and I think most of you know that um, I've made some really wonderful friends through my channel, and um, I am truly blessed. And on that note, I hope you all have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I will put pictures at the end so that you can see what these look like sitting up on a countertop or a desk. And um, I'll see you in the next video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.